All right, guys. So for the longest time, I've been looking for a way for the players who don't have the money to spend on weight limit, pets, maids, etc., things like that, to make a reasonable amount of income in Black Desert Online. And I've been trying to find a way to do that so I can make a video for you guys because I understand, I completely understand that some people just don't have the money or don't want to spend the money on a video game, but they still want to play Black Desert because they want to be competitive in the PvP scene. They want to get somewhere in the game. They just don't want to drop so much money in order to do so. And hey, I completely understand understand that i'm in the same boat and if you're in a position like that this video is perfect for you i finally found the solution to the problem and that is field bosses now field bosses are different from world bosses world bosses are karanda zarka kudum and nuver those are the world bosses now you can do those when they spawn sure they don't there's no problem in doing those but you won't make a lot of money it's all rng if you get a box or not but before this patch that just passed, world bosses were actually very much worth doing. But now that they despawn at such a rapid pace, it's almost not even worth it, especially for Nuver, because you're only going to be able to kill one, maybe two Nuvers top, and that's a long walk, and Kudum as well. So there's really no point in doing those guys. But the patch that just happened, which made these world bosses irrelevant, uh, the, the ones that are further out in the desert, didn't really affect field bosses. Field bosses are still amazing to do and will continue to be amazing to do until more people start to do them, which kind of makes this video kind of counterproductive, but hey, maybe you'll be one of the first people to hear about it. So I've been doing world bosses for these pat these world bosses and field bosses for these past four or five days, and I've accumulated a lot of money and a lot of stat stats and a lot of data to go along with my findings. What I found is that typically, if I do a world a field boss, I will receive one Laverto boss per every other boss. So it's about a 50% chance I will receive an alert or Laverto box. Now keep in mind, I have 226 AP with a Kudum, a tri -Kudum, so my PVE damage is very high. However, I am also um, along the time I've been doing this, I've been talking to people while I'm waiting to change channels asking them about their gear and what their loots have been like and from what i can tell they aren't too far off from me there's been times where i will receive two uh laverto and an awakening box in one if i go to Mudster, i could get a marker shadow and an awakening box in one there's just a lot of loot to be had here and if you don't have any pets you don't have any weight limit this is probably the number one way i could say for you to make silver in black dozen online so let's start off with what would you need in order to do field bosses properly. The first thing you absolutely need is the world boss discord. That's just a fact. Um, uh, once again, I'll leave a link to all this stuff in the descriptions below, but you definitely need a world boss discord. You cannot do this without it. The world boss discord allows you to communicate with players and um, figure out what boss is going to go down to next. All you have to do is go to boss status once a boss has spawned you'll see the boss percentages on each channel you always want to go when doing field bosses you always want to go to the channel that is being killed so say if there's one that's at like 80 percent and 85 percent maybe even 75 percent you always want to go to those channels simply because you know the boss is being killed if you go to a channel that's at 100 percent it could just be one person calling it 100%, you know? It's gonna take a long time for it to die. The goal when you're doing field bosses is to always make sure that you're killing them within 15 minutes. So you're gonna wanna make sure you use the World Boss Discord. That's gonna be vital for this. The next thing you're gonna wanna bring with you is obviously some potions and some food. Now, the food that you wanna bring is gonna depend on basically on you, but the ones that you definitely gonna need are Kama Sylvia Special. Kama Sylvia Special, gives you 5% back attack damage, which is the only multiplier you're gonna be using other than crit on bosses. So uh, you're also gonna to wanna to get King of Jungle Hamburg, which gives you crit damage. These two will increase your damage by, uh, by will increase the damage of your multipliers by basically 5% each. So 10% increase in damage, very good. You also might wanna grab some elixirs. Demi-human elixirs are great, as well as uh, lethal assassin elixirs for back attacks um, you can also get some ap elixirs and things like that you don't really need accuracy for these bosses you should be a level 56 at least before you start doing this with your awakening so accuracy isn't isn't really an issue for any of these field bosses i believe they are all level 50. 
and um the last thing you're gonna need is a really good horse now that's gonna be hard to get obviously but the better the horse the better chance of you getting from field boss to field boss without having to worry about you know uh, missing any loot or missing any damage that you would have gotten if if you were on the channel you know so you definitely want to get to a very good horse so you can get there faster you know now not having a horse is clearly uh, not going to stop you from being able to do this but you do want to get a horse a fast horse as fast as possible if you get a decent amount of drops when you first do this i definitely invest my money in a fast horse that's a big investment for you and from then on you're going to want to get as much ap as you possibly can especially akutum because akutum gives hidden monster damage which increases your ap and thus gives you a better chance at getting rarer loot as um been officially stated by the gms and devs and all that that the more damage you do to bosses the more gear chances you have so definitely want to get your hands on that but don't let your ap be an excuse you can get loot no matter how much ap you have as long as you hit the bosses it's just a little bit higher chance if you have more okay so yeah with that being said that's all you're going to need to do this now let's go into what you're going to get from this now when we talk about field bosses we're basically just talking about red nose mudster tree and beg now tree and beg i would really count as the same as field bosses these guys do die rather quickly and it's because they actually have a, a boss gear that people want so begs begs drops begs gloves and tree drops tree chests and also tree spirit belt so um but tree drops these at a very low rate in comparison to the other bosses so it doesn't really give you that much money um and you can only usually kill two trees you can only usually kill two bags if you swap channels so these two bosses still take priority when you're doing world bosses or field bosses this rotation you always want to go to what spawns and what will be killed first you have to know what the the, the community wants to kill first so usually the priority goes any world bosses first and then after that it's beg tree and after that it's red nose and mudster now when red nose and mudster are up you'll see they'll be up for a long time because people are pretty much doing trains on red nose and mudster you just have to continue to change channels and these these two are where you're going to make the most of your money doing red nose and doing mudster made me so much money in these past couple days i couldn't even believe it i got so many laverto boxes so many awaken boxes and so many market shadows i could have made as, uh, so many tri market shadows if i needed to but yeah i was I also got red nose armor and of course you get a lot of crystals you get enhanced silver it's just great money if you sell everything which is what you should be doing please don't use laverto's guys laverto's are not good they're not worth the money so yeah um definitely definitely check it out uh i have a whole bunch of clips here showing the, the loot i've gotten uh, me collecting the money i'm not making this up guys i went through and did all this i even did it on stream it's really not that difficult um but once again uh, i did see an increase in loot as my damage went up so keep that in mind but as long as you are doing the bosses you will be making decent money so we've discussed what you need for bosses we discussed what you get from doing bosses so now let's discuss how to do the bosses basically what you want to do is you want to go kill the boss obviously on the fastest kill channel which is almost always velia 4 um usually it's velia 4 it can be velia 1 sometimes but 99 percent of the time it's velia 4 so what i do is i just stay on velia 4 when there are no bosses up once a boss spawns on Velia 4, I go kill him on Velia 4. Then I check the world boss discord to see for another boss that has been dropped maybe below 95, 90%. I swap to that channel. And then once I've swapped, now I kill the boss again and get the loot. And now I have a 15 minute cooldown or a 10 minute cooldown, however long it took us to kill the boss from when I swapped channels. From there, I will gather or process or maybe even swap to an alt and do some cooking on, or some life skills on an alt or anything like that. Just make sure you're doing something in that 10 minutes. You don't have to, but if you want to if you want to completely be optimal you do want to do something during that 10 minutes while you're waiting maybe bring something from your storage to process and process it as you're waiting for the channel swap you don't want to just be standing there while you're waiting for the channel stop swap but you can be i'm just saying it's not optimal 
After that, I swap channels and repeat the process continuously until the boss is dead. Um, once again, I just want to stress, make sure you go to a channel that's been called that the boss is below 100%. So at least 95 or 90, you never want to go to 100% channel unless it's the last one because, well, then you're just screwed if the boss is taking too long to be killed. You always want to make sure the boss is killed within 15 minutes. Once you've done doing that, you definitely want to make sure you check out the marketplace before you sell your items. Sometimes awakened weapons drop below 8 mil. You always want to sell one that's going for 9 mil. So check the market to see the class that's selling for 9 mil. Also, Lavertos. Lavertos usually go for 9 mil, so never try to undercut. Market shadows fluctuate a lot, but I do get a lot of market shadows very often. So, yeah. And that's it for the video, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitch, LOL Hero Twitch. It's your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peace.